Anybody want to tell me while we're running? Just to get out of the view. Out of the view of the headlights. It's just further. Okay. Further in. No, I just wanted to make sure that's why we were running. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> actually, the ghosts are chasing us. If you can see them, they're... Phantom cars. People would see a car in the rear view mirror, and it would pass them up. And uh, when they went to look back, it would, it would just disappear. Um, one woman actually claimed to hit one of these phantom cars. She heard uh, the sound of two cars colliding, you know, broken glass, uh, metal, you know, bending and all that. She got out to inspect it, and it there had been no damage done to a car. Uh, no one could really say why people see these cars that just disappear. Down the street here. Yeah, and off to the street. Yeah, there used time. to be cars coming through here consistently. Yeah, probably yeah. on a long, long time ago, yeah. though. It's really, there's something here, and it's... it's Are we here, man? It's one of the most haunted places in America. That's what people are saying. We get results out here. We get some great photos out here. We can't explain away. Uh, there's feelings, sensations so like it. Um, we're going to exit this trail up here. Yeah, Let's take this trail. we got another, not even... This whole but, area is screwed up. About an eighth of a mile. And then uh, we're there. When we were at uh, this part of the trail, we were almost there. And it was pitch black. And all of a sudden I saw these lights off to the side. I had no clue what they were. Let me tell you, my pace quickly hurried. Come back yet? Is he okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay, but you know what? No, is he okay? Yeah, I just heard his voice. But you know what's screwed up about ghost hunting with Monty? What? He does this to me when we're alone, so. Leaves you alone? Yeah. Ooh. Oh no, that is not cool. Nope. Somebody could just like snatch me and he Wait. wouldn't even know. I think I see him. We need to talk to him about that. Here he is. Yeah. Okay. I let him know. What you tell him? I just walked up to people and said, hey. <laughs> Monty, no, you what? cannot leave this woman alone Dang. when you do this. What? No, she walks around this place by herself. That's so crazy. You leave me no, alone. Nobody should walk around by themselves. No, I was just going to go tell him real quick, babe. Okay. No, but I'm just saying. You know, you don't think I should walk I mean, they're, they're with me today, but I said, well, they're like, oh no, where's Monty? And I'm like, well, try it when you're alone. I go, he, he leaves me alone all the time. Out. And so. I'll stick with you, dude. Why don't you stay close to them all the way down? You want to stay with these people? Are we good? No, they're, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, this way. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're inside Bachelor's Grove. Monty, why don't you tell us a little, about, a little bit about where we are right now? Oh, we're kind of over by the circle of tombstones right here. Um, this uh, land, this cemetery, makes up approximately an acre, maybe a little over. Uh, enjoy the headstones uh, right here in this area. Uh, there are close to 200 burials here, although you wouldn't know it by looking around because a lot of the stones here have been, uh, you know, missing or destroyed or... Monty, I wouldn't know it by looking around because I can't see it. It's pretty dark. <laughs> yeah, it is. Over there, I see him. Is that you guys' group? Yeah. yeah. No idea. It's starting to get real cold right here. Nice. 
Wouldn't you think it would be better without all the uh, modern technology? What do you mean? This is what works for us. I mean, like the cell phones and the camera and cameras. Um. No, it wouldn't be better. <laughs> It might be better uh, in a sense. Yeah. Well, it depends on what your purpose in her is. Right. What is yours? We're record. We want to record the research. See if we can get something uh, documented. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's supposed to be one of the most uh, like photogenic Photo places in the Midwest out here. I mean, I photos, getting uh, images, and that kind of stuff. Have you? Uh, oh yeah, we've gotten tons of these images. Mean, and tons of people taking photographs any given time of year. Again, stuff on here in the photographs that can explain. This is the lagoon that resides on the side of Bachelors Grove. Um, this very lagoon was used as a dumping ground for the mobsters' victims in the 1920s and the 1930s. Uh, there have been a number of bodies that were actually found in the lagoon. Uh, Monty says there is an event that happened here between you guys. What's up with that? What happened? Yeah, it was my first time here at Bachelors Grove, and um, Monty was kind of showing me around and giving me the tour. And we came over here. Monty was telling me some of the stories about the lagoon and uh, like the dumping of the bodies that took p place in the gangster era. Well. Right, up, right in front of this uh, pond here, about 15 feet ahead of us, um, about mid-air, this bright ball of light appeared. Um, it looked neon or something. It was really amazing. Um, it stood there for maybe one or two seconds, and it floated up into that tree line, and it disappeared. Did you jog or run out of here? We just pretty much stood here and watched it because you didn't get a feeling of fear watching it. It was more like of awe. It, you just looked at it and it was just beautiful and it, was, it, it wasn't like it was anything bad. And it was very bright and it just seemed to diminish as I looked up. Yeah, it was wow. about this big. It was very okay. bright. It was beautiful actually. <laughs> You know, we've photographed this blue herb in other places in the cemetery. I don't think it's a bad thing. No, it isn't. No, oh, it's trying to collect people, I think, and bring them to reality. It's, uh, I don't it. think they think they're dead. Some of them. So I get my black shadow. We came on out here one night, it was September 26th, and uh, we had an experience that uh, we won't forget. It's pretty uh, early in the morning, approximately 1 in the morning. Uh, when we walked in, uh, we knew something was here, and it, they weren't people. Uh, we felt a, a strong presence out here. Um, I was walking with the Camp 4 on the trail, and I'm walking with it, I see a misty form directly in front of my path, just walk right by. And next thing you know, it was gone. Uh, couldn't explain what it was. And Lydia, she had seen the same thing with her eyes. She had seen what appeared to be a black shadow. And from that moment on, we knew uh, something was here and it was actually building up to something. Uh, we began to hear noises around us, uh, footsteps. We looked, uh, couldn't hear anything. No animal, there was nothing there. I mean, these footsteps were distinct. They were right next to us. Uh, when we heard this, we began taking pictures. Uh, where we're standing now, this is an area where we did hear footsteps. We're standing approximately right here on the trail. And uh, Lydia, she had taken a photo in this direction. Uh, it was of this stone. And the actual photograph had this stone and the tree in the background. Well, in that picture, she got hey, what, about the back of the tree over here? what appeared to be a black shadow. And the shadow had actually darkened part of the tree. Um, I mean, you get this bright flash, and there's a shadow in the middle, but darkens the tree, and around the shadow, there was this luminous mist. Perhaps you might have seen the photograph. And on the way out, we heard the gate rattle, like a violent rattle. 
when you first walk in. Did you really? We heard it rattle. There was nothing there. No animal. She took a photograph. She got a mist. It seemed to be coming in from the outside of the gate into the cemetery, kind of like, like swirling in. Uh, very unusual photograph. Was there, like was there ever in. fire here? To any documented anything? What's your question? Fire. I keep seeing fire. Not everywhere, specific places. Like I saw fire there, and I saw fire there. When I came in and... Like bonfire, just now. No, not a bonfire, like a person. But not anyone that's buried here. As far as I know, um, there isn't really any history. Okay, I'm gonna dare Jonathan to uh, walk down this little path by the fence and just walk back. By I know myself. he could do it, but by he's myself. by himself. We're gonna wait right here. We're not even 20 yards away. So, just like I'm here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna walk to the fence. I'm the world's bravest host. What was that? That was an acorn falling, John. <laughs> Out of the tree. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you ever been in one of those movies and you say, dude should run? <laughs> I'm about to run. Okay, I made it about five feet from the fence, and then my instinct took over and said, get out of there, so. Did you feel something? Was it yeah, creepy? I felt like I should turn around. <laughs> yeah, it's creepy, man. It's real creepy.